this is Kelly from Root Pursuit and we are doing a stop and crop today and just I'm sharing a few things that uh, that I got at a state sale yesterday and then uh, playing in this uh, hinged book again and decorating it which is a lot of fun uh, I kind of have this idea of putting this together with these bits maybe this one I don't know yeah I'll just go ahead and get started on that so there was uh, like a rummage rama which I mentioned in last week's video so I'm doing I'm doing a stop and crops and a shot so this will be a week week later when it posts but anyway the rummage rama didn't turn out to be that great but there were a lot of rummage sales in the area stopped there were a couple of good ones and then there was an estate sale that I didn't even know about and stopped at that. And that always is the best uh, way to way to score some some goodies for junk journaling. I almost went back, but I didn't. Uh, my husband wasn't wasn't willing. <laughs> he was like, no, I don't want to do that. So I don't know. I'm on the fence about going back today because today everything's 50% off. Yesterday I I snagged some stuff, but my husband doesn't have a whole lot of patience, you know, to wait for me to dawdle around, which which I do. I like to dawdle at the estate sales. I ran across this. This is one of my favorites. Um, the signature on this was my, I don't know what the deal was with the signatures, but they tore off the signatures. Probably it, it was with a bunch of stuff from my great grandfather and it said James H. Gibbs. He tore off his signatures. I don't know what that meant. Maybe that it was paid or something or some kind of a promissory note. Uh, it was, let's see, $7.55. So, I don't know. Yeah, $7.55. I'm like reading it <laughs> written out. Eliza Buchanan. And it says, Sylvester Morrison, administrator of the estate of Liza, Eliza Buchanan. Oh, I don't know what that means. So, nine months after the day, promised to pay to the order. Hmm. Interesting, but anyway, the best part about this is the stamp, and it's 1869, and then something about writing on the stamp, the date. So, yeah, it says February 27th, 1869, so in beautiful color, the stamp. Anyway, I just ran across that, wanted to share it, got this little image I cut out. Oh, that was the other thing. So I, I had this framed, it was actually a framed painting. I don't know, from some book or something. So I, I uh, just cut out the painting in the middle and actually used the painting down here, if you can see that, bits of the painting, because they have like pictures of uh, Victorian ladies standing there. So that's going to be part of this page collage. And then with this, I figured out that you can actually uh, tuck, tuck things in there. I glued just along the edge here. And then, so you can really tuck in anyway, but still see the, the, the page, the original page. So I thought that was pretty good, pretty good. Oh, I got some stickage. You know, uh, what else did I work on in here? Uh, look, sure. hmm. and I have that page from last week, and then this one. Ooh, this page is very fragile. Oh, it's gluing together again. I had uh, put something in between, but I thought it was dry. So I took it out, and now it's still wet. Oh dear, wrecking stuff. I guess I better get some plastic in between there. Okay, plastic in between. Okay, here's the page that I worked on. So I found these really old vintage, I think they're bone buttons, not seashell buttons. I have them in my seashell 
buttons are, but no, nope, they're bone buttons, which are even cooler. And I, I picked out three and threw them on there, and they were literally these three buttons that are, um, they're all the same. Like, that whole jar is just mismatched buttons. I don't know how in the heck I ended up. It was just a fluke. It was fate. <laughs> so this is what I have so far for this. Some old tag snips. So I, as I clip the snip, I slip snip. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. So as I clip the corners off the tags, then I save them if they're really pretty paper. If they're not, I just chuck them. But I can throw things away. It is... It happens sometimes. <laughs> so that's that. That's I think that's all I worked on. Pretty sure. And the rest is just waiting. 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 Okay. To make them beautiful. Okay, I'm leaving that plastic bag in there. So we don't have more glue glue problems. And I've got this. And I'm looking for, what did I get? Oh, I don't know if my screen is big enough, but I actually found, and this, I mean, I had some many years ago, but I, and I shop a lot for old stuff. And I finally found a wallpaper sample book. And the only thing is I'm a little, I was a little sad. I was really glad because it's almost all florals and I love the florals. But, after I opened it up, I realized that there's some spots on some of the pages towards the top. So, I think I'm only going to be able to salvage, like, you know, half of these pages. I used to be, like, a little bit more, um, oh, you know about that but now I don't mess around with it because it just it spreads so you just you cut all that out of your life yeah see look at that that and like this all that's gotta go so I gotta I gotta cut that out I'm probably gonna go out in the yard and do it and see what I can salvage from there and probably have to throw away a bunch of it but oh well it was only five dollars so now I know why quickly um, these little books, I've never seen these before, and honestly, I think maybe they were made for junk journals because these three are all birds, and the, the, the image, like the cover, it's kind of hokey, but inside, the images are amazing. So, yeah, like they're really, really fantastic. Okay, let's just do a click a click click that's just gonna be how I talk today so those are cute let's see these birds so yeah really good really good stuff and like I said these were like made for junk journals because they had insects and I wouldn't have gotten the insects because I kind of it bugs kind of creep me out and I don't especially like them in my journal but these insect pictures are absolutely amazing like look at the praying mantis with on the pink flower i don't know they're just really good so many pretty ones look at that okay so those are the insects then they had they had so they had birds insects trees flowers and butterflies come on so it was like i said there's like made junk journals oh these are so pretty let's see the trees real quick we got pine cones those are good falling apart it's okay and butterflies and i just like overflowing i had to organize my butterfly drawer because my butterfly drawer i'll show it to you i'm loving these jewelry boxes my butterfly drawer is overflowing. I may have to take out like these big, because I've got a bunch of these like massive ones, but I'm just, they're really the ones taking up all the room, but I have a lot of butterfly um, images, stickers, whatever in there. Okay, so those are those. Are they gonna get the crap? Um, 
another really great find were these. Uh, the envelopes are worth it. Actually, the designs inside are fantastic. But the envelopes are great, too. All these envelopes are just really, really pretty. Most of them have like a blue, a bright blue or a navy blue, dark blue for the patterns. And they're all just pretty like fruit. Um, and they're all transparent. So, you can really... Are there three of the same one in here? There are. There's like doubles in here. Hold on. Hold, hold the phone. Why does this person have the same ones? I don't know. Yeah, there's three of that one. Two at least. Nope. Three of this one. Interesting. Okay, well... I might just put those in the, in the shop, in my Etsy shop. Are these, these three are all different. These are all Vogels, and these are all different. Okay, so I got some duplicates. I mean, that's fine, really, for these, because they just, although I'm sure some of them are, like, white transparent, and then some of them are this uh, tan transparent. So, hmm. Okay, those are cool. Some ledger paper. A canasta scorecard and these are like caramel color with green lines on them that's a cool i'm gonna use that today i think and this one 20th century bookkeeping and accounting these i think are all 1940s and these it's got lovely green paper with the green and red lines so those are nice but then it has like these the script on here and script here in the header and then also sample receipts these little tiny sample receipts so I'm gonna these are gonna be tags those I mean there's a bunch of them there's not a whole lot but there's there's a bunch in there so oh I didn't even notice this we've got some handwriting uh, notes from whatever class they were taking because I'm sure this is like a bookkeeping class Just, yeah study guide cool okay and then this one more pretty paper so the colors are slightly different so you got like caramel and then a white so it's like your copy and then the person's copy really good yellowy paper really quick um this vintage scrapbook it's got like, water stains and stuff and then it's got like this is the best image in here there's like walt disney vintage walt disney stuff in here with little little stories uh walt disney's mickey mouse canyon kitties stories so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. If you have any ideas for what I should do with this scrapbook, I just, I don't know. The pages are so full that this will probably come out. No, I can't because it's got that on there. So I guess not. Oh, 1935. So we're like 10 years away from being able to use it as a digital. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what should I do with it? Look at it. That's what a journal's for. <laughs> okay. Then I saw this book. Postage stamp album. And I'm not kidding you. I got it for 50 cents. So I open it up. And it's got these pages in it. To where to put your stamps. But the stamps are in there. There's tons. Yugoslavia, Japan, Italy. Some of them are blank pages, but look at, I mean, hello. If anyone knows why FDR is on this, uh, I think it was Santa Monica and or San Marino and uh, now I can't remember. But he's in alphabetical order. Ooh, that one came off. I couldn't see it. San Marino. So FDR is on San Marino. And then he was also on Monaco's. 
I don't know why he would be on there. So I guess there's some history I need to, to learn about. Yeah, look. Cool, like airplane stamps. There's quite a few in there. So this page and airplane stamps. No, upside down airplane. I wish that's like the rare stamp where they, they accidentally printed the airplane upside down. Well, people weren't familiar with airplanes, so the guy didn't know. Right side up, upside down, who knew? <laughs> okay, so that's a good one. And then I have to find out if there's any that are worth anything. I don't know, they might not be. Because if they're only worth like a buck a piece, then I'm just gonna use it for junk journals, you know? If they're worth more than that, then maybe I could sell it, I don't. Who knows? I got this. This is Baker's Twine. Right now we gotta collage this thing. This cool paper. Tearing it up. That's what it's there for. To tear it up. Dun dun dun. I did it. Tore it. Owner of Tenants Fair. And owner or tenant's verification, labor, mileage. Cool. And I think we can kind of cover up this. I think that's okay. I like that piece there. That's going to do it. a little piece of this, I think. Now it's too little. Ah. <laughs> and this is going to be covered up, so that doesn't matter. Put that right up against there. Put a little of that there. Pretty crooked. Okay, now I want this to go like right there. Yeah, I'll throw a little, little piece of this in there. Oh, some, oh no, that's my little shoot. <laughs> that wasn't a scrap at all. <laughs> all right, maybe some, some music. Some musical notes. Just a little. Oh, I like that by the side better. Right there. left for the top. Like so. Yeah. And I'll just give it a little, just a little. Okay. 
just trying to get these edges up here. Put some borders on there so we're reinforcing this paper a little bit so we've got like decorative and functional. Kind of keep that. I don't know if I need much more. Maybe a flower. So I've already got a butterfly. Or a mushroom. Maybe a mushroom today. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe a colorful mushroom. Whew. That's really bright. That's pretty. That's a pretty one. Hmm. I almost think I might totally fussy cut this one. This mushroom, I believe, is from the Antiquarian sticker book. I decided to cut it apart and organize them because I was just spending so much time flipping through it looking for what I wanted because there's no order to what they have in there. So, you know. And this, actually the red, will kind of bring out the side bit a little bit. It's kind of going for like a turquoise and red combo. I think, oh yeah, that was it. That looks nice. I could do a little stamping over here. Script. I'm happy with that. That's kind of nice. I got the back. All right, what else do we have in here? Put my, oops, that's a funny picture. Should go underneath, underneath. <laughs> my show is away. Am I brave enough to glue this down in here? I said when I did this that I was really going to put some special, special pieces in here. And I don't want to lose the date. I'll just save this one for a bigger, bigger page so I can get the whole thing on there. But I need to find a bigger page that I'm willing to cover everything up. <laughs> this one's big enough. I did notice that this one had like a red edge and when I got this wet, it the red ink bled up it, but, and it looks, it looks kind of cool actually. <sighs> no, I'm changing my mind. Sometimes it happens. Mind changed. Maybe here. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to put this down and this here. That's what's happening. Which side is better? Balance that way. I like this side better, but that big giant coffee stain. Uh, the hazelnut coffee. And man, does it smell good. That's why it's not like, you know, some people don't like coffee smell, but this is like hazelnut. Wonderful. Um, or something. I don't know. Okay. I always forget when I'm doing these uh, journals that to leave like some room on the top and the edge to put to add, you know, lace, borders places to hang your tabs and stuff. I have to work on remembering that. Let me just get the square better. There we go. That's a beautiful piece. I could try my botanicals. Seem to be doing a lot of that. 
And then I'll have to... It's pretty. I'm going to do this one. ideas go on what else to do with that so dig into my pile over here I've got this little guy I don't think that I got this butterfly got this seashell I had a seashell like that when I was a kid it's like the same kind of stuff hey there's a bird this is a bird. We should pull out the birds and see if we've got anything good to go on there. And, you know, I gotta save spots for, like, pockets and tots and stuff. Hmm. Oh, I do have a new collection of these I got somewhere. These are, like, wood grain birds. All kinds of them. So maybe... I'll add one of those. Now we can kind of see what bird is that? Oh man, just like that, it looks fantastic. I like this one better. This, I would still have this area to do something with. Yeah. You know, I worry so much about placement, but then when you start adding stuff, then sometimes I'm like, ah, should have been over this way. <laughs> I should wait until I get all my stuff, but I don't do that. I was collecting items for this journal. Put them in the little bucket. Just maybe put this one in there. I just don't think that page is sturdy enough to hold up to this thing. This one. I don't know. I just can't decide. Might have to go and dig through some stuff. So I would like to put this somewhere. So let's find a spot for this. Hmm. Wonder if I can. Make this a little shorter. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I don't wanna waste all that space, so I'm gonna cut this part off. Scissors, string. Try not to cut my needle packet. Yeah. Some washi tape. Well, that's nice because then. Then I can get this and that in there. I like that. Okay. Yeah, that's really pretty. I 
I'm going to be smart. Take out my... Insert so that I don't glue it in there. Glue this bit down. There we go. Yeah, that's very cute. And then figure out something along the edge there. Oh, I like that. Maybe my Fabrifix will cooperate. Scissors. Okay. We shall see. out my um, antique fabrics maybe make up some fabric clusters to put in here something there but not that something hmm order scrap oh, oh, wrong door. Okay, but do I go just to here? So I can do it just in between. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a very short uh, audition, as they say. something right here for this thing yeah and then this little needle book oh look it has gold in it that does really match that well with the rose on it I find that yellow and like all the brownish stuff doesn't always go together sometimes it just doesn't oh i'll have to find spots for these samples too make like a little collage booklet something on there it's really Really noticeable. Up there. Hmm. This page, I think, along this edge is going to need some serious reinforcement. I may end up just... I suppose if I reinforce it on the other side, that should be fine. 
most of these pages I'm just going to want to emphasize the actual that's why I saved all those the actual title page of all those cool books And then I'll need a border. Turn them out of there. Okay, no, I don't want that. Let's see what we've got here. Maybe. Whoop, not that. Oh yeah, this is really good. This, that could work really well for this book. This. Ooh, I like that one. use this. That would look good in this book. That one too, maybe. And that one. Those are really good. I'm going to keep all of these. I can definitely use them in here. everything in here. <laughs> Ooh, and I've been saving that because it's too fantastic. But this might be the book where I can actually uh, be brave enough to use this stuff. Or a project worthy of it, right? Okay. Well, after all that, <laughs> big mess I made. I think I'm gonna go with this border. Let's see if I've got enough. Mm. And buried my scissors. And just trim around. stronger from here to there I'm just gonna trim a little bit just a little I think wider This is my leftover piece. I 
got a little extra, so might as well, might as well use it. Looks very nice. These pages, mm, I'm not super happy with that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll make it better. Just like we do with sad songs. Well, the Beatles do a sad song. They take it sad songs and they make them better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, that should be all for today. You know, you know how it goes. As always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.